The controversy in Coventry over Johnston's Pond hit a milestone today. A large group of Coventry residents attended a ceremonial bill signing with Governor Dan McKee. The law gives the Rhode Island DEM authority over the water levels of Johnson's Pond. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni has been tracking this story for years. She joins us now from Coventry with today's developments. This law gives DEM authority over five bodies of water, including Johnson's Pond. But it's the controversy over this pond's water levels that pushed lawmakers to take action. Dozens of Coventry residents claim victory in a years-long battle over the water levels of Johnson's Pond, coming to the ceremonial bill signing with Governor Dan McKee Friday. This truly is a day of celebration for the community. The law, which went into effect two weeks ago, requires Rhode Island dam owners to seek DEM's approval to raise or lower water levels or face a $1,000 a day fine. Social Holdings LLC purchased Johnson's Ponds Dam and water flow rights in 2020. This week, they were sent a cease and desist because the state agency says the current water levels are not consistent with historic use. At what point, if they can, don't pay the fines or they just keep letting the water out, what do you do? We're going to court. Governor Dan McKee spoke to locals who live there. What do you think is going to happen if the water level keeps on going down? What's going to happen is we're going to take our boats out or something like that. Or yeah. We can't enjoy our summer anymore. It's yeah. not going to be good. McKee then took to the water, where his questions were answered by members of the Johnson's Pond Civic Association. And then that changed when the ownership changed. Rhode Island is a real nice place, isn't it? <laughs> the Ponds residents took issue with how the Soshas have altered the water levels since they took over. The town and its owners have been in and out of court over the dispute. Now, the owners of Johnson's Pond oppose this law, and since it's been put on the books, the owner's lawyer has not responded to multiple requests for comment. And Coventry, I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News.